Hey everybody, welcome to Big Belly Living. It's JJ in the kitchen Friday. And we're switching it up a little bit from all the Instant Pot to mm. jalapeno cheese bread. It's yummy. Uh, first one's out of the oven, so that's why I started this intro. Uh, this recipe will make two loaves. Although you probably could make one big loaf. I think you'd probably add five minutes to the bake time. Or you could make smaller ones and make uh, like hamburger bun type size. Uh, I'm sure you could do that as well. Uh, got this from Artisan Bread with Steve and I actually have his, I actually have his cookbook <laughs> and we can put a, we'll put a link down below to, to his channel and to this specific, this specific bread. He makes, he makes a lot of no need bread. You, it takes a few minutes and it turns out really good. If you like a nice crusty bread, it's amazing. Um, so let's get to it. Since I'm kind of lazy, this is perfect for me. <laughs> so we start out with three cups of, I'm using bread flour today, but you can use all purpose. And, and it doesn't have to, if you do it, if you use a little bit more, or a little bit less than the three cups, it's pretty forgiving. So it's kind of a nice thing. A teaspoon and a half, just use table salt. Um, put that right on in there. So we're gonna mix all of our dry ingredients first. A quarter teaspoon of yeast, instant yeast. I love my Danish whisk. Then the next thing we'll add is the cheese. I actually want to get that all in there. Mix this in here so the flour kind of coats that cheese so it doesn't clump up. And you, we're using uh, fresh jalapenos and then stir this up again, get, get the jalapeno where it's got some flour on it too. We're using fresh jalapenos, you can use um, canned whole jalapenos and cut it up into chunks and do all that kind of stuff, but this is a really, really darn good bread recipe, actually. And it's no need, so you don't have to knead it all day and all this stuff. So there's that. Now what we want to do is add our wet ingredients. One tablespoon of olive oil. So 12 ounces total of cool water, and you just stir this stuff up here. I like my Danish whisk. It's kind of awesome. You want to get all that stuff from the bottom because that's where your, your dry flour will try to hang out down there on the bottom. As you can see right there, it'll try to hang out down there. So you just get it pretty much incorporated. Don't have any of that flour on the bottom. That is it right there. Now we'll cover this and I'll probably just set it in the oven so it's not out in the middle of nothing. Cover this with plastic wrap and in eight to 12 or whatever hours, we'll be back. Okay, so we're really just kind of mixing this up a little bit. We're gonna put it over here on this, this flour to knead it up just a little bit, just to kind of get it into a ball, but just kind of take it right on out of there into that flour. And it is a little sticky. That's one of the reasons why we want to get a little bit of flour into this guy. A lot of bit of flour into this guy. This bread is, it is pretty wet, you know? It just is, so make sure you get yourself a bench scraper. I forgot to make sure that we had this out here, but it'll make it easier to handle. And so at this point, we wanna take and cut this into as even pieces as we can. And each one will be a loaf. So just like so. Mm. 
And then I will take these here and put a little bit of flour on there so it doesn't stick quite so bad to my hands. And I'll make them into a loaf like, just like this, just move it around into a loaf, okay? Then we'll take and shove it on a piece of parchment. I'll show you a picture of that once I have it, have it all done. Or we'll do a little bit of that, okay? Try to make it a nice loaf. Now we'll cover, <clears throat> now we'll cover this with uh, a flour sack and we'll let it rise for about an hour. Cover that up. We'll let them rise. And that's it. Okay, so bake 500, start. So this will start warming up. This this will take close to an hour to get up to temperature. So what we want is this to be in the lower third of the oven. And this is the cloche that I use when I break bake this kind of bread. Uh, I got this one from uh, Breadtopia and so I'll heat that up. It'll, it'll be screaming hot when we put the bread in there to go. All right, that's 25 minutes into it. So we're gonna take the lid off. Take the lid off. And this is gonna run for three minutes with the lid off. Okay, well, this is the first one. Pull that out of there. Take this other one, trade places. I'm gonna put this guy into the oven and do the exact same thing. So, took a drill, grilled up, grilled up a tri-tip and fit right in there. Look at that bad boy. I don't have anything other than meat and bread. I guess it'd be bread, but num, num, num. That is so good. Thanks for coming by Big Valley Living. Um, my goodness. Like, share, subscribe, bam. This is so good. It's amazing. Talk to you guys next week on JJ Friday.